another adventure like the previous story but this time it's about Ayşe. Küçük Ayşe'nin macerası Little Ayşe's Adventure. Macerası. Now we start with the verbs that passed in the story. Yes, sure, do used to live or was living. We can use both depending on the meaning of the sentence. It comes from the verb yaşamak, to live. Yes, your do. By now we know this is the şimdiki zaman, present continuous tense. And do is for the past. Yes, your do. Used to live or was living. Karar verdi, decided. From karar vermek, to decide. D is the past. So when do we use I for the past or U, which is you, or I, you have to go back to the grammar lessons or courses where I explain in details. I will put the link in the description box below. Karar vermek, decide. Çıktı means set out, went out, let's say for an adventure. From çıkmak to go out to is the past. You notice when we have certain letters, you'll see here also, we use T instead of D for the past. Also, you have to refer to grammar courses. Verdi, gave, from vermek to give, and D is the past. Gördü, so, from germek, and D is the past. Yaklaştı. From yaklaşmak to approach, we remove the infinitive form, mak, and then we say yaklaştı in the past, approach. Mutlu oldu, was happy, or became happy, so was happy, you can say, from mutlu olmak, and do is the past. Mutlu olmak, the infinitive, of course. Teşekkür etti, means thank, from teşekkür etmek, infinitive form, and then ti is the past, thank. Tanıştı, met, from tanışmak. So is the past. You notice we have she, we put a ti, we have t, we put ti, uh, ti, which is t instead of the d in the past. Anlattı, same here, from anlatmak, explain. And then we have finally gurur duydu, was proud, from gurur duymak, and du is the past. So, küçük Ayşe güzel bir köyde yaşıyordu. Little Ayşe lived in a beautiful village. Or was living in a beautiful village, depending on how you want to translate it. Little Aisha used to live or lived where in a beautiful köy, which is village, in a beautiful village. Bir gün ormanda yürüyüş yapmaya kar karar verdi. One day she decided to take a walk in the forest. So one day, bir gün. Did she decided, karar verdi, she decided what to do. Yürüyüş yapmaya, to take a walk. So, yürüyüş yapmaya, together to take a walk. Ormanda, in the forest, because orman means forest, da means in. Yanına küçük sırt çantasını aldı ve yola çıktı. Meaning, she took her small backpack and set off. So, she took, means aldı, we got the verb almak. To take, aldı, took. She took what? A backpack. A small backpack. So, küçük means small. It's describing the back. So, we can say, with her, yanına, next, now yanına means next to her. But we don't say that while first thing. We just say, she took her small backpack, with her, let's say, ve yola çıktı and set out. Now, çıktı, yola çıktı together, set out. Yol means uh, road, yola to the road, çıktı, to go out. Together and set uh, off, we can say. Ormanda bir çok güzel çiçek ve ağaç vardı. In the forest there were many beautiful uh, flowers and trees. So in the forest vardı there was what? A lot of beautiful flower and tree. Of course they are not one. So we can say while translating a lot of beautiful flowers and trees. Ayşe büyük bir ağacın altında bir sincap gördü. Ayşe saw a squirrel under a big tree. So, Ayşe saw a squirrel, bir sincap, a squirrel, altında, which means under, under what? A big tree. Okay, big means big. Now, ağaç means tree. Ağacın altında, we have now complement, that's why we add these additions. Also, you have to know the grammar of Turkish. Sincap ona yaklaştı. The squirrel approached her. Now, since job is squirrel, yaklaştı, it passed in the first slide. Uh, ona to her, what we say, the uh, squirrel approached her. Ve Ayşe'ye bir ceviz verdi and gave Ayşe, uh, Ayşe a walnut. 
So and gave verdi. Gave who? Aisha. To Aisha. So why is a protection letter? Because we have two vowels. Dear Javis, a walnut. Aisha motlu oldu. Oldu here. Vesin jaba teşekkür etti. Aisha was very happy and thanked the squirrel. So Aisha was very here. Chop. Aisha was is the do. Was what? Very happy. And thanked who? The squirrel. Sinjab, we know. Sinjab here. It's Sinjab squirrel. Now, to thank someone, we say here, a. Ah, we put a. But because we have here a vowel, we, the p changes into a b. Also, grammar rule. You have to check some courses to know or to understand these small changes. Ormandaki yürüyüş boyunca Ayşe birçok hayvanla tanıştı ve yeni arkadaşlar edindi. Throughout her walk in the forest, Ayşe met many animals and made new friends. Ormandaki yürüyüş boyunca. Boyunca means throughout. Throughout the walk where in the forest. So we can say throughout her walk in the forest. Ayşe birçok hayvanla tanıştı. We can say stop here because we have a verb. So Ayşe met a lot of animals. Aisha is Aisha. Birk chak means couple of, we can say, or many. Haivan means animal. Haivan la with animal. Tanushtemet. But we have to change the translation when we translate it to English because it's very important to make it meaningful. Of course, when we say here, Birk chak haivan la means a lot of animals. Since Birk chak means plural, more than one animal, we don't have to put the plural uh, next to the word animal here. Ve yeni arkadaşlar edindi and made new friends. Yeni means uh, new, arkadaşlar, friends. But when we want to say like she made a new friends, we can put it this way. Yeni arkadaşlar edindi. Akşam eve dönü, dönerken annesine bütün macerlarını anlattı. When she returned home in the evening, she told her mother all about her adventures. Akşam eve dönerken, while or when, can means while or when. When she returned to home in the evening, annesine to her mother, so annesi her mother, ne as a protection letter, and a is to her mother. Why did we put n as a protection letter and not why? Because anne is the word. The SI we added, it means uh, it refers to Aisha, and because we added this, it's not part of the word, we put N as a protection letter and not Y. To her mother, between means all, Majularine, her adventures, I'm not to explain, like she was talking about her adventures, so the meaning will be, when she returned home in the evening, she told her mother all about her adventures. Annesi de Aisha'nin cesaretinden gurur duydu. Her mother was proud of Aisha's bravery. So, annesi de, her mother also, de means like also, gurur uh, duydu, was proud, what? From what? From, so that means from. From the bravery of Aisha, that means she was brave. So, her mother also was proud from, then from the bravery of Aisha's, or Aisha's bravery. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're benefiting from the information or learning Turkish more. This is the English translation, of course. As usual, you can get this PDF and study and take notes if you click on the link in the description box below.